There are many different ways in which Ravel and Debussy differ, probably as many, if not more, than the ways in which they're similar. Um, there have been many statements that, that uh, have tried to encapsulate just what those differences are, and possibly the best and most concise one was Debussy would describe his feelings about an object, whereas Ravel would describe the object itself. Um, Debussy's music, for the most part, almost seems surrounded in this wonderful misty haze, whereas Ravel's music tends to be more pointed. Uh, in fact, when Vaughan Williams studied composition with Ravel, he said that Ravel taught me to orchestrate in terms of points of light. And I think if you think in terms of that, that clear Ravel sound, that's, that's a, a very, very good uh, way of thinking of his way of, of pinpointing little chords and little notes within the textures of his music, whether it's for piano or orchestra or any other combination for which he was writing. Gershwin's music uh, certainly did influence uh, Ravel in a lot of his, especially in a lot of the later compositions. And I'm thinking in particular of one part in the first movement of the Piano Concerto, uh, which I don't play very well. I really should have Kim Russ, our soloist here for this. Um, but this kind of languid harmony. steamy and uh, and it puts me very much in mind of the the very first piano entrance in Gershwin's uh, own piano concerto <laughs> And, and I believe Gershwin's Piano Concerto predated Ravel's by about three or four years, so it's certainly a piece that, that uh, Ravel would have been aware of and probably uh, admired greatly. I remember once reading a review, I hope I don't get any trouble for quoting this, uh, of a uh, recording that Pierre Boulez made of some of Debussy's music. And uh, Boulez said something about, I've tried very hard to burn the mist off of Debussy. And the critic said, didn't it occur to Mr. Belez that Debussy worked very hard to create that mist? No, very, very lovely. Bolero holds one of the most special places in my heart uh, in terms of music because it was the piece that hooked me uh, on music and sometimes one sits around with one's friends and says what's your first memory and people say oh it's you know when my dog bit me or this and that and my first memory not only musical but my first memory is sitting in my parents living room listening to bolero and and it seems to me I was somewhere between the age of one and two and just being aware that this piece hypnotized me and grabbed me. So certainly the hypnotic effect of this beat that just starts and doesn't stop. You know, once you start that machine going, it is there for good until the very, very last two bars of the piece. Um, it, uh, one could almost say that it's uh, perhaps a form of pre-minimalism because Ravel limits his materials to that beat and essentially two themes throughout the whole piece. But what he does with those themes, uh, having set himself this limitation, having to uh, increase the instrumentation as the piece traverses its 15 or so minutes, depending on how fast you conduct it, um, and making the orchestration progressively more adventurous and gradually adding little dollops of harmony to the theme as it gets louder and louder and richer and richer. Uh, it's, it's a compositional tour de force because the kinds of things he does with it, you know, first taking that, that tune uh, as simply as possible in the solo flute. Uh, and then there's that one extraordinary variation where he has a very high French horn.
doubled way up high by two piccolos playing each of them in a different key. The theme is in C major, but he's got one piccolo playing in G major. And the other one playing in far away E major. So uh, I, I can't do all three voices at once, but you almost get something that sounds like a bizarre organ stop. Uh, and then he doubles this already extraordinary texture with the celeste. Uh, so you have this kind of gleaming piccolo bell sound. It's like no other uh, uh, chunk of orchestration I can think of. It's just amazing.